Hello and welcome to Old Spirit Productions. We have several packages to open today and I have my mom Sparkles Hope just sitting in with me to help me with this. So let's start with this one. I think it's got an easy open thing right here. I really like these. I wish all packages came like that. Yeah, Ooh. so much easier to open. Where's my paper thing here? I think that's it. Okay. Enjoy your gift from love. L-U-V. And that tells what it is. So it's a gift inside. It's a little kit box, kind of. Love berries. Golden State Fruit. Okay. Mm. Sounds like it's going to be edible. Ooh. Yeah. It's edibles. And not that kind of edibles. <laughs> there we go. Whole gift box of food snacks. Let's see what we have here. It's in a cute little basket. I like that. Nice wicker basket. Mm hmm. Love these baskets. You see that? Okay, so take the little ribbon off. That's for me. It's dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to do a taste test video of this, this stuff. I see a peanut brittle. Ghirardelli. Come on. I'm trying to get this plastic seal wrap stuff off. I don't know what it is about when they seal these baskets and stuff. But they make it so tight. It's so hard it's to get into. It's like shrink wrapped almost. Yeah. Almost. Might as well be. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Whoops. That or get a kid to come on. <laughs> it's kid proof. Yeah. So they say. There we go. More adult proof. Yeah. Okay. So we have dark chocolate, sea salt, caramel corn. I love those kind of corns. You know, the kind of candied corn, popcorn. Yeah. And then we have butter caramel, gourmet caramel corn. And then we have some kind of chocolate covered something. And I don't know, I don't think this said in anywhere what each of these bags are. Chocolate covered clusters maybe? Yeah, probably. And the chocolate covered might be like some kind of um, almond, maybe. almonds. Almonds, yeah, it's that shape. So yeah, it might I was be almonds. The shape. Chocolate covered almonds. And peanut brittle. Yeah, it says right there peanut brittle on that. But these don't have that. Mm. That's weird. Yeah, and then we have chocolate covered pretzels. <laughs> and white chocolate with some kind of little drizzle pretzels. That just says on there. Uh, yogurt pretzel with caramel drizzle. Sounds good. And this one. Just chocolate pretzels. It doesn't say dark or milk or. Mm. And then we got three each of milk chocolate caramel and dark chocolate 60% cocoa. There's three of those. And there's three of those. And this was, I believe, from my secret Santa for the last Reddit gifts exchange. This is what they ended up sending me. Just what I need, more candy. Stuff to make me fatter. I'm trying to lose weight. <laughs> but that was cool. That is nice. That's a nice little basket too. Yeah, I like the basket. I'm going to keep that basket. And oh, I would too. All the shaving stuff, that's going to the trash. Unless you have an idea for something to do with all this. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And then plastic insert that held everything together but here's the wicker basket we can use that for something i don't know but i like that that's really cool well that's that package we got a few more over here for now we'll just put everything back in the basket there we go 
Hey, it's all going back in there without the plastic tray. If you guys see anything special that you like in that, please leave us a comment yeah. down below. Do you have a favorite in any of this? The Gary We're not Lally sharing. Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> We're not sharing. Mom and I might do a taste test later, sometime this week. Okay. You want to try that? Sure. Okay. That'll make our fifth taste test. Yep. We still have to post the fourth one. Yep. But that's coming. We're going to be working on that this week while I'm home. Made a mess. Okay, here is our next package. Little easy chair. Uh huh. This is a paper package. I ordered this the other day to try to help us with some of our projects that we're working on. That's the uh, rib the thing. Yeah, the mount. This is a magnifying ring light and this one has on this side a dust cover over the magnifier which would be pretty cool and it's got this flexible gooseneck and then this part is um let me take it out of here to show you that's what mounts to the table mm -hmm. This mounts to the table, and it's got this spinning part to tighten to the table, and then the ring light attaches to this. The, it's not exactly a ring light, it's the magnifier, but it also comes with a light to help. So we got that one. Mom's been working on a project of her own while we're out on the road, and I'm hoping this will help her see her project a little better. Me too. <laughs> and then this one is a little bit different style of what I just showed you. A few months ago, I unboxed a uh, overhead tripod, and the style of that tripod, it's not exactly a tripod, it grips to the table also but the style of arms on that overhead is what this magnifying light has. Thank you. The box got a little crushed. Yep. It's all in one piece. Yeah, it should be. It's supposed to be metal. There's the cleaning cloth. Oh, cool. And then, just like the other one, it has that style. Oi! And I dropped it. <laughs> that style of grip for gripping to the table. And okay. I'm trying to get this out of here. It's all taped up and everything. There we go. That's the magnifier, and it's got the ring light on that side. They're like five times magnified? Yeah, five times magnif magnification. Yeah. I can't talk today. I couldn't even think of a word. <laughs> something to magnify it. But here is the mount. Got it? Yeah. It's a little bit different than the overhead. It's got the zip tie right there, so I can't take it apart without cutting that. But this is one side and this is the other side. So right here is the uh, the hinge. And then this and this also has hinges. So to swivel around. Um, I don't remember the um, how far it'll swivel. I think that one, I don't remember. I'm not going to say the wrong thing. This is really tiny print. But I'll put the link of where I bought both of these on in the description. I bought them on Amazon so that you can see for yourself. This might be something that you like to get for crafts. But we're going to use these for different projects that we need to be able to see more detail of small stuff. There's that one. I keep dropping that. Sorry. I'm trying to figure out Oh, oh that's the, the screw dial thing for one of the hinges. Oh, okay. 
got this one that is David's Eagle Moss for the January. I think it's January. So it might be December. I don't remember. But he asked me to open it on camera for him. And this is gifts. 123, 124, 125, and 126. So, <coughs> excuse me. He's got one more kit coming to finish the car. And then he's got seven more months after that for the extra pieces that will change the car to other the other movie styles or whatever. Uh, each uh, Back to the Future movie, they changed how the car looked. Mm -hmm. So that's what those are for. And they sent him a new binder. Another new binder. Okay, we're done with that box. So here's the binder. And it's kind of a weird binder. However he puts the books in there, he figures that out. Out's all him. He's filled a couple of the binders. Let's see this. 123, 124. Four, 125, 126, okay. Dot. Oh. So here's 123. Got a little bit glare from the window. We, we just rearranged mom's room a little bit. We turned the couch to the other wall, trying to see if that'll give us more room. Here's the pieces, and this is the right reactor exhaust cowl. And it shows how to put it together. And there's only that one step, or that one is two pages, I guess. And then it goes into the behind the scenes info that each of these books has a little bit, a little more info on one of the three movies and there is a lot of info in all these books when he's done with the base car that's 130 sets 130 kits so there's gonna be 130 of these books yeah it's a lot here is 124 and this one Parts are right exhaust vent and pipe details and fixing screws. And there's the steps. Behind the scenes infos. And then 125. This step is cables and fit the reactor into the DeLorean. Get the pages apart. Mm -hmm. More steps. I guess that's it. And then the behind the scenes info. And the last book in this set is 126. And this one. Complete the reactor exhaust cowls. Yeah. 
and behind the scene stuff. And the three or the four, and it's the reactor cover, I think it said. And I think these are working wires, so he needs to make sure those are good. I don't think that's a working wire. And that's all the pieces. Not sure if you can see those. So that's it for the DeLorean kit this month. Here is the next package. This is my December Diamond Painting Club. Even though I'm recording this in January. And this is January 15th. It actually arrived on December 28th. But we had literally that same day, I think, or the day before, left to go back out on the road until yesterday. So this is the first chance I've had to get home, pick up the mail, and unbox everything. Okay, down the side. Okay. I don't want to make it mm -hmm. easy for you to get into. No. It's not only a bunch of projects in the box, it's a project to get the box out. <laughs> I'm you not work, complaining. You worked so hard to get into it. Yeah. But it's worth it in the end. Yeah. Wait. You want to pull the bag off? That's what I was going to say. Suggest. Or try to. Yeah, grab it from up here. There we go. We got it loose. There we go. Okay. Here. My diamond playing club. Should we take a picture? <laughs> See how it's loaded in there? Yeah, that's a thought. <sighs> it's never going back in there again. No, not the way it comes out. So yeah. Never does. Yeah. I watched her do enough of these. That's a lot of diamonds. For five of the canvas paintings. That's still a lot of mm -hmm. diamonds. Okay. Here is everything, and we'll do the canvas paintings last. Okay, do do do. Bring on the new year! You'll have cute designs to diamond paint every month with this 2022 diamond painting calendar. Will you complete the calendar in one go, or diamond paint it month by month? That is this over here. And I've been looking forward to seeing this. Oh, it's got one of the zipper bags. Those are I nice. like those. Uh huh. I use them for so many different things. Yeah. Okay. Got there. So, that is the diamond painting calendar. It's got a bunch of owls. Of course, the cover itself is a diamond painting, and then each month is a diamond painting. And it's got this standing part. So it'll stand on your table, your desk. 
Just like that. And then you flip the pages each month. Cool. Yeah. That's gonna be cool to do. That's cute. Yeah. I wanna see how many colors this got. Since Quite I'm, a few. Since I'm not a diamond painter, I guess counting how many diamonds is important. Or how many colors. Or colors. Yeah. Yeah, you, I don't think you can all the time. No. <laughs> Eight. That's a lot of colors. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. And that pack. Yep. Twenty-six or twenty-five different colors. Oops. Twenty-seven different colors. There's stars and there's round gems. Mm. Some type. So there's 27 colors in this thing. Wow. Quite a bit of color. For 13 pages of diamond paint. Now you get all rolled back up again. That's the fun part. Well, it's kind of creased, so that helps a little bit. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> If I have time this next few days. I have a lot of projects planned for while I'm here. So we'll see. Okay, the next project. Welcome the mythical unicorn to your home. This cute felt kit is an enjoyable craft for beginners and veterans and brings even more magic to the end of your of year twinkle party. So I think that's this one. Yeah, it says corn right there on the paper so I'm not sure exactly what this is I don't remember seeing pictures of anybody posting this one but it's got this styrofoam block it's got hooks in there needles I think but it's got that and there's some stuff sticking in through the end of it you know my question hmm that yarn? <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. No. Felt. No. Um. <coughs> feel that. That's some weird stuff. Oh, that's uh, cotton fiber or something. Yeah, it's like stuffing. Okay, that's that's what stuffing feels like. Okay. I don't this know. Is... Do it yourself, unicorn felt kit. Get a bundle of pink wool, that's what that is, wool, mm. and roll it into a ball to make the unicorn head. Okay. That's step one. Get your needle and start to stitch the wool. Apply pressure with your fingers so the shape keeps its form. Okay, I have no idea what you're making here, or what you're supposed to be making. Yeah, but I mean, huh? There's 16 steps. Okay. Apparently that's the end result. Oh, okay. Out of that. <laughs> if that's you gonna say be so. fun. <laughs> yeah. Let me show you this. Yeah, it's not gonna fold over. Okay. Down here in the corner. That is what you're supposed to be making. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. That's going to be a project that just gets put off to the side for now. Because I don't understand already. <laughs> if I can get back in the pouch. No, that's not how it was. No, it was on the outside, but yeah, but now it's gonna have to be on the inside. It's just, just easier to get it all back in there. To get it back in the, into the bag. Okay, that was that's a weird one. Yeah, and I haven't seen anybody post that one. Mm. I don't know why. Probably because nobody's done it yet. Yeah, it's possible. I have so many projects. I'm getting so many more each month. 
probably at some point I'll pause my diamond painting club. Just to get caught up, huh? Yeah. I don't know if I'll ever get caught up. <laughs> okay, the next project. Add extra color and sparkle to your plants and garden with these diamond painting plant ornaments. You can even use them as decorations for your delicious Christmas cakes. Okay. Um... I have no clue. I guess it's this. Yeah, There's a couple of suction cups and a couple of dowels. In this bag. I almost have to send you a diagram of what the package <laughs> looks like so you know which package goes to which project. Yeah. Well, they do have a YouTube channel actually with their tutorial videos, but with one project I tried doing a couple months ago, that video was basically useless at the end because they time lapsed it so you can't see details of what they're doing with it. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven different colors of diamonds. But I have no idea what you're supposed to do with them. Hmm. Um, okay. I'm lost. <laughs> I have no idea. I might have to message them and say, um, what? <laughs> and where's the instructions? <laughs> Some of these projects never come with instructions. That's what their video tutorials are supposed to be. Okay. Try and get back in the bag. There we go. I don't know. I have no idea. I'd get too frustrated without instructions. Yeah. I guess I'll have to figure that one out. Figure out what it's supposed to be. I don't think it's this one. Okay. Make your shopping eco-friendly with your own diamond painting tote bag. You will shop in style and with a beautiful butterfly and floral design. That is going to be this one. Yeah. And I have received a couple of these diamond painting shopping bags. The I think it was just two of them so far, maybe three. But the other two that I can remember right now had parrots or birds on them. That's really cute. It's got this kind of a rope handle. So that's cool. And that won't take too long. It's almost like a purse. Okay, mm -hmm. diamonds are in the bag. <laughs> that's a good place to put them, right? Mm-hmm. Might as well make use of it. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See how many colors this one has. A bunch. Okay, there's two bags of one. They are numbered. There are 16 different colors. Hmm. They got two bags of one alone. It's black. Yeah, it looks black. It's just one side. But it's not this part. Hmm. It doesn't go on this. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll figure that out. Lots to figure out in this part. Yeah. This one. Okay, discover the joys of quilling. This is my second quilling project from Easy Whim. Use craft glue to stick the colorful paper to your canvas and create a magical unicorn to be the star of the twinkle party. That doesn't show a unicorn. I think that's what this is supposed to be. Where's the English? 
<laughs> I don't see English anywhere on this. Yeah. A unicorn on it either. Yeah, that too. I don't know. Maybe they sent you the wrong kit. No, because everybody else has been posting this one. Oh, really? And I thought they were saying this was quilling. That's what the sticks are for. I, no. I don't know. I have no clue what's going on. <laughs> that makes two of us. Yeah, this is the quilling kit. Okay, that's tools. Tweezers. This is your circle thing to help you make the circles. There's the unicorn. Oh, okay. And you put the quilling papers in the shape. And other than that, I don't really know. Because <laughs> I haven't even done the other quilling projects I received. So, that's that project. That will not be happening anytime soon. But yeah, that's... I've looked at it. At uh, the quilling and how you're supposed to do it. It's interesting. Um, I don't know if I have the patience to do it. Because <laughs> it's not an easy craft from what I have seen. Mm. Now what is this? Because this is not listed in the projects. Is this another diamond painting pin? Wait. That's stuff in it. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Okay. So it came in this tin case. It's got a pretty design on the lid. And I believe this is supposed to be a diamond painting pin. But it's also got this. It kind of looks like tweezers that goes over this. Hmm. Oh, it's rechargeable. USB cord. And it lights up. It's got a button here on the side. And they included several different tips. Five different tips. Rechargeable cord. A tweezer attachment. That is very cool. I like that. And I've tried using tweezers with diamond painting. That doesn't work for me. I, I don't have the control, I guess, to use that. Okay, well, that's... Everything except the um, canvas paintings. I'm going to get all this out of the way and I'll show you those. Here is number 5245 with a wolf in a snowy scene. Some trees around him. It's 34 colors, 40 by 30 centimeter. And then we have another wolf, number 5244. It's a very colorful wolf. This one is 35 colors, 30 by 40 centimeter. And then we have number 5227. I think that's supposed to be a dragon. Kind of hard to tell. That is 35 colors, 40 by 30 centimeter. Then we have the third wolf in this diamond painting club for December. This number 5243. And that's a very pretty wolf. It's got a... Uh, dream catcher behind him that's 40 colors 40 by 50 centimeter and then this one's kind of an abstract 5236 kind of looks like an abstract sun and clouds I guess and this is 40 colors 40 by 50 centimeter did you like this happy meal unboxing give us a thumbs up share it with your friends Leave us a comment below and let us know what your favorite item in this Happy Mail edition was. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe and bell icons so you won't miss any more of our content. We'll be posting at least one new video every week and we'll see you in the next one.